Bible and the spirit of prophecy, we're going to find out whether the conference church is the new organization according to the word of God or those we stand, we stand on the foundation of Adventists. Because, I mean, it seems like it's like a three groups. Because there are some people that they think they are Seventh-day Adventists. They don't belong to conference. But unfortunately, they're not on the original faith that Ellen G. White says. And that's another group. Our chart, our pioneer chart. We're going to find out which one is the new organization. And which one is the original faith. Of them, they come to the foundation of Adventists. Just like the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy says. A lot of them don't want to come to the foundation. They want milk message. Lukewarm, sleeping preachers are preaching to sleeping people. That's what Ellen G. White says. And they refuse to read the spirit of prophecy. The Bible says in the Proverbs, where there's no vision, the people perish. That's what a lot of seven-day Adventists they perish with. Because they are new organization, unfortunate. They don't even preach that three inches message anymore. And they don't know anything about Habakkuk two tables. They don't know what constitutes Seventh-day Adventist. They don't understand for you to call yourself Seventh-day Adventist and, and not understand your own belief. That's so sad because they follow blind leaders. I mean, the Word of God says, if a blind leads blind, they both will fall into a dish because the mark of the beast is at hand. Sunday law is everywhere right now. They're not enforced. Some places, some countries, they already accept or they already enforce Sunday law. But we know according to uh, Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy, United States are the one that they're going to enforce Sunday law. And if they enforce Sunday law, it's going to be like democracy. It's going to spread the whole world. Around the world, this foundation is, is going to everywhere. Praise the Lord. This is the fulfillment. That's what Ellen G. White says is going to happen. Both Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy declare that they are false shepherds. They don't want to walk in the old path. They off shoe. They have taken their feet from their own shoe, which means they have taken their feet from their own belief. They don't believe in the foundation of Adventist anymore. Praise the Lord. Now the foundation is going everywhere, just like an NGY said. So God's people is being fed. Those who come to the foundation of Adventist by the grace of God, they are fed. Amen. Unfortunately, now before you graduate. From our old school, Seventh-day Adventist school, the conference, church and the conference schools. Because, because the Romans has taken leadership right now. And unfortunately, because they have taken a leadership, all the doctrine that is coming, even is spiritualism. I mean, it's so sad that the spiritualism is living now in the Seventh-day Adventist. The new organization. Now those we are on the foundation of Adventists. If you really want to stay out from all the false teachings that the Rome is doing this last day, the best thing for you to do is to come to the foundation of Adventism. That's what the Rome is doing right now, them Jesuit. That's why now they in our conference churches and the conference schools, everywhere you go, false doctrine. A lot of people don't really know this chart. This is the old chart, the pioneer chart. We're going to read the inspiration. You're going to find out it's the pioneer faith. Many people, they don't believe in our faith no more. Because the Bible said in the last days, teaching years, there are smooth things. Prophesy unto us smooth things. That truth that will make us sleep to death. They are the mark of the beast, sounding law. That is not. All this boasting and proud at all the time. Those people, those leaders that are false messengers of, that are in our conferences, that are pushing Rome, the Vatican Roman teachings that are destroying the foundation of Adventists. They don't want our people to know our belief. Sometimes you know, they, they will boast and they will say, hey, all the bad things that is coming is not going to fall on us. Be safe. They're deceiving themselves. Jesus Christ said, don't deceive yourself. When the Sunday law comes, I mean, you're going to get the Sunday law, the mark of the beast. Because you can't stand. You can't stand alone unless you have the spirit of God. The conference church, they use Freemason New World Order. They use the six frame. You're going to see that it has a three frame on this side. It goes like, you know, like a triangle this way. This is what it is. It's like this. Triangle, they have the roof.
Bible underneath try to deceive the people, but this is how it goes. And I'm gonna put on the screen. It's it's a Roman frame, and that's why they have a six frame, not the seven, because we we'll worship number six. Even the cross is upside down. And I'm gonna put all of them on the screen for you. They're not using our pioneers chart. And they don't use the three inches logo because they don't want to preach the three inches message. LNG White says in testimonies for the church by you now. Now they know that if, we, if our people preach a three inches message, they're going to come to the foundation. They're going to know the logo. And they're going to know the six frame, the Vatican, APC, Roman logo. Everything that we have, they try to remove. That's a new organization. If the logo itself will tell you that it's a new organization. The one who created that logo is Roman Jesuit. They try to claim that the logo, the upside down cross that is, is underneath, they're going to overcome Seventh day Adventists. They're going to overcome new organization. They don't have our belief anymore because they are offshoot. But praise the Lord. Now, those who are on the foundation of Adventists, can you fight against Jesus Christ? The one who led his people, the midnight cry, that is living the loud cry, the third in this message, 144,000 in these last days. So now we're going to talk about the foundation of Adventists. Now we're going to find out the true foundation. The faith which was once and for all was delivered to the saint that the Bible says, you can attack this message. Whenever you see this foundation, this is not a scattering. This is a gathering. According to Isaiah chapter 11, God is gathering his people right now. Many people are coming out from the false doctrine that is blowing, the foolish wind of doctrine that is blowing Adventism. Now, conference churches, new organization. All oh, the message given from 1840, 1844 have to be made possible now. For there are many people who have lost their bearings. The message of the to go to all the churches. Hey, Amen. And you know what he's talking about? The foundation, the message that was given 1840 to 1844. And says, our message have to go to all the Seventh-day Adventist churches in this gathering time or these last days. My brothers and sisters, this child is going around the world. It's like a tidal wave. It's like a wildfire. And Lindy White is talking about this chart. Even Lindy White says our pioneers, every Seventh-day Adventist, everybody is supposed to constantly look or search to know the foundation our pioneers believe but a lot of people don't understand a lot of people don't even know this chart right here 1843 1843 chart many people don't know 1843 the lending GY says in 1 BIO page 180 paragraph 3 and even 1850 chart that was published by brother Nicholas a lot of people don't know there is a lot of Seventh-day Adventists that they also said they don't belong to the conference churches, but unfortunately, they fight against the foundation of Adventists, our pioneer truth and the pioneer chart. And in GY says, laymen will finish their work. Amen. The first English message began 1840, and the second English message 1842, when the Protestants began to close their doors, Sunday churches. But they came to United States, they are forefathers. So the first and second in this message is on this chart, 1843 chart or 1843. And then the third in this message is on 1850 chart. That's why you see the sanctuary. That's why you see 1844 right here. If you claim that you are Seventh-day Adventist, you better come to the original faith that Ellen G. White talks about it and the Bible talks about it. Whenever you get time, read Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Ellen G. White talks about this chart right here. She referred to Habakkuk 2 tables in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Now you're going to fight against your own truth, the pioneers, the old path, the foundation of Adventists. If you don't have a foundation, you don't have a burden. A lot of people. And we say, well, no, we don't believe in this chart that God endorsed. God is telling the watchmen in these last days to go through, go through the gate. You have to enter every seven day Adventist churches, especially the conference churches, and proclaim the foundation of Adventists. Don't be lazy, watchmen. The word of God said the watchmen will never keep silence until God has made Jerusalem seven day Adventist spiritual. This is the truth. 
the city of truth. So if you call yourself a seven-day Adventist, you better come to the foundation of Adventists. They help me the most. In some of our seven-day Adventists that they believe that they are not conference churches, but unfortunately, they've been deceived by papacy too. They've been deceived by Balaam and Jezebel papacy in these last days. Because they see that some of the papacy, they fighting against this chart, and they are surface readers that I mean, GY says, surface readers anchor no word. They can dig deep the Bible and search the truth. They lazy Laodicea. Just like their name says, Laodicea, lukewarm, be the lazy people. And in GY says, the seven day Adventists in this last day, we're going to search the word of God just like William Miller searched our pioneer, the founder, that God used him to establish this truth, William Miller. And so if we're going to search the word of God just like he searched, William Miller talk about 25, 20, but there's a lot of people that they fight against seven times. If Ellen G. White says, this child is from God, why 677 it's here are you going to fight against the chart that god order or command if you come to even the bottom of the chart 1850 you're going to find out the explanation of of the time and then seven times that is above here look right here seven times 677 bc it's right here the explanation put the camera right here seven times is seven times 360 equal 25 20 years it's right here you see this chart oh you better love it and come to this chart this is the chart that a lot of rain is sprinkled and in gy says in early writings that the, those who fight against this chart some of them will be will, will see the glory about this chart i'm paraphrasing and they're going to step back to the foundation of adventists talking about this truth foundation this truth about two tables this is the foundation that if you want to be among 144,000 you have to come to this foundation we now talking about false theory about Jehovah witness 144,000 do they keep ten commandments no we talking about spiritual Israel or seven-day Adventists those we on the foundation those we keep ten commandments most of the churches, Sunday churches or Protestant or Babylon churches, they keep nine commandments. But unfortunately, I never see nine commandments in the Bible before. I always see ten commandments. So do not throw away the Sabbath and thinking that your son worship the honorable day of the son that Constantine changed the Sabbath. 321 AD. That was honored to be a sun washer. The honorable day of the sun will save you as a pagan sun washer. You already told us that the lot of rain, the last day, the lot of rain that will come to God's people will begin just like sprinkling the little rain before the outpouring. It's going to come with the, I mean, without measure in the last days, which is Sunday law. But it's always come as a ladder, I mean, the little rain or shower. When we talk about September 11, 2001, just like an NGY says, and with their hero, 1906, and NGY says that, you know, when the tall building comes down, Revelation 18, verse 1 to 3 will be fulfilled, John chapter 20. When Jesus Christ breathed, when he was going to heaven, or when he was ascended to heaven, first he breathed on his disciple and he said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. So the latter rain or the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, according to history, is always come up as a sprinkle or little rain before the shower or plentiful shower to be given on the day of Pentecost. That's like Ellen G. Y. says. All the prophet talks about last days, the foundation of Adventist children of the East. That is on the that day on the chart, the Islam. The first rule, second rule, and the third rule right here, Islam. Even Islam in this last day, they're going to come to us. Because it's going to be based on two things. Whether you're going to receive the mark of the beast, that is sun, worship, or S-U-N dash day. Or S-U-N day. Sun day. Even the speller will tell you that it's a sun worship day, so to speak. Or you're going to come to the foundation of Adventists. This is the foundation of the Bible. The whole Bible, all the prophets, they talk about this foundation. 
you better come to this foundation if you call yourself seven day adventist if not there's only one thing left you're going to receive the mark of the beast every book of the bible do you all talk about last days do you all talk about seven day adventist the foundation of adventists in this last days the glorious true but unfortunately many seven day adventists been hypnotized hypnosis but Jesuits not from the seven day Adventists but from Rome that they infiltrate our churches <laughs> many of them been hypnotized by them why God's people are sleeping this last days why they like milk message why they like sleeping preachers that are in the conference churches and the conference schools that are giving spiritualism and hypnosis and hypnotizing God's people in this last days the third Elijah is coming from Seven Day Adventist who give God's warning just like when the Jezebel when he called God's people to commit fornication in ancient Israel or the Old Testament God always sent Elijah to rebuke and give a straight testimony to his people how you heard Elijah's message the foundation of Adventist warning and reprove his people Jesus Christ's hand is leading the Adventist movement he's the one who led Adventist movement the made not cry and he's the one who's leading this foundation his hand is controlling this foundation with the early writers Jesus Christ is leading his people to Jerusalem Jesus Christ is the champion of truth 